Okay, so here's the quick and easy way we're going to fix my mistake on telling you that you had free choice on where you were going to put things in your task stream portfolio. I'm looking under outcome five where one of them is supposed to go. This is sub where outcome five, I'm checking my notes to make sure I'm right this time. This is where the practicum reflections are supposed to go. So if you look, there's here's the sentence that you will enter and submit. And if you notice, you don't do anything different. You don't add anything, you don't change anything, you leave everything the way it is. Let's say for practicum reflections that you had put them under outcome six down here, um, where that, and you had put it there as your communication. Well, then you would come back up to where outcome five was. You can find this work as my inquiry lesson reflections entered under the progress sections of outcome six, and then you submit. That's all you do. Make sense? And then for outcome 11, sorry, outcome 11B, there is a 567 section. So here is another piece that you'll enter. There it is. This one's a little bit different. Just because it's about the inquiry role reflection, I'll let you read it. Okay. So as before, let's say you put this under outcome eight, okay, progress section. That, that, that's, that's what you did. Then you go back there and you just simply say, you can find this work. You can find this work as my inquiry roles reflection entered um, or whatever. The, that could even be whatever the title of it is, entered under outcome, what did I say, outcome, the progress section of outcome eight. Um, so that's it. You've already entered them, and now you're just making a note as to where they are. I will grade them where they are, and then I will see your high stakes, because you, I'll grade them where they are, because you requested comments on them, and then I will check for this high stakes entry whenever it's, whenever you make it, and then check it off when you're done. Um, so a last note, and this probably doesn't apply to any of you, but if for some reason you've already entered your self-evaluation, I just posted an assignment, High Stakes Entry of the Field-Based Professional Dispositions, that talks about how you enter it under Outcome 9. If for some reason I got confused or you got confused, and you've already entered your self-evaluation somewhere. I don't think you have. And besides, there's all these instructions about it, about how to do it. But if you have, then you can come under outcome nine, where it's supposed to go. And this assignment tells you how to put it in there. But you can come under outcome nine, if you've already put it elsewhere, and create a similar sentence, similar to one of these, about how you had special instructions and where people can go and look for it. And then I'll find that too. Hope that keeps it easy on you.